really compute the aggression that's coming in towards the B site now. Lackey is going to be the first port of call, and he has done so very well with those two opening frags. A second or a third even available to his left in just a moment, which he'll now soon realize goes for it. Lackey has just wrecked this round. Yeah, and then Tropic are actually going to start on that T side. So we'll see if they can get themselves going early on here. Akuma, Sensei, he's gone for the dual Berettas. Love him already. Love him already. Yeah, you're loving that. <laughs> get those duelies through. He's even got armor with them as well. Dropped over by Jakey. He's a, he's a nice little team player. Then the Entropic side, you got the five Glocks. No P250s being bought up. As they're just going to go and push in towards the vents. Uh -oh. Psycho is uh -oh. in there with a knife! <laughs> and he's going to be able to knife Crad in the booty. Gets himself a kill. Lackey won't allow himself to go down, but he's just left on just 36 HP. And now with Sergis already rotated down towards that B site, it's going to be difficult to get the bomb planted, but Forrester's there, and Forrester finds the kill. Gives them a bit of space to work with, but still, bomb not planted. They need to find themselves a bit of room, and that's a great kill to do it. Forrester is finding a lot of space for them to get this plant down, and that's exactly what they'll do. And Demq wanted to try and peek him, but he gets his head taken off, George. And now it's just the dual Berettas. Sensei against the world. Looking for him. Never mind, he's dead. Ooh, just a few shots through the smoke from them, so enough to reveal Lackey's position, and the kill follows through as they try and push in towards his A site. They know they've lost the flank, they know they have to go quickly to try and remedy the situation but now they're walking into the orb of sensei and oh this is a shot nickel pack's able to just gun him down sensei not able to get out of danger that's the orb going down and now elian's going to be able to wield one himself uncontested by an akuma orb entropic are now going to be able to find a lot of room in towards his b site they surely get the plant down elian can probably position himself Watch the his decon door, oh, and there yeah. you go, Jackie. Caught by that weapon. Elliot's oh! looking for more. Oh! oh, he flicks onto DemQ. Get out of the server. And now Sergey's last one alive. A one versus three. Nothing you can really do about this one, apart from maybe upgrade to an AK-47. You have to take that maybe with a little bit of a pinch of salt, in the sense that it is one of the more CT-sided uh, maps still in the pool. And Blackie has read that position perfectly. Did he hear him? Maybe. It seemed no like he knew he was there. He was ready for that fight. Either way, it is the man advantage now, friend Tropic. Man advantage the first time in a few rounds here, and you just gotta hope that Lackey can continue his good work down on this B site, and he already has done inside of the halls. Taking Psycho down now opens up so much freedom of movement. Open borders now into the B site, really. There's just going to be Jackie trying to stand guard, making sure that nobody can come down through the vents. Admittedly, though, it doesn't look like Entropic are particularly concerned at the moment with going in towards this B site. They still look like they want to go and try and negotiate A. Speaking of, though, Elian will make sure that the negotiations are short. That is one thing for certain. Crad grabbing one more. It is all just left up to Sensei, and as he rounds the corner, he will miss the first shot, unfortunately, and will be ran down by Lackey. Psycho will have heard that. Definitely hears them stomping around towards that B site, but you can see the rotation from this Akuma side were quick, but not able to find any damage. Forrester with a nice couple kills there. Gives his team space, and Elian finds one towards the yard as well, catching Psycho, looking for a little bit of a rotation play. Finally, Akuma get a little bit of success here in this round. Sensei and Jackie, the last two alive, have managed to bring things into just a one-man deficit, but... Well, the position of Sensei, it's looking like they're already just decided to save. Towards the, B, the A site, it is massively unsuccessful. In fact, completely backfires, as it is Jackie to find a kill, but Lackey trying desperately to entry his way back in is not successful, but the rest of his team are. Three kills in quick succession. Sergis is left wondering what happened, but he's got a chance to bring this one back. They're not yet into the site, and better yet, they still don't have the bomb, really. So with a minute and five seconds soon to be to play with, for Sergis. This is a really winnable one versus three attempt here. And whilst he has just spotted a player going outside. So a little HP for a few of these players. This is Mac 10 for Sergis. Could find some real powerful kills here. 
And he spots a couple in the side. Doesn't find either of them, though. And Forrester's Deagle. Yes, he's now low on HP himself, but he's found that opening pick. Well... I don't think it's lasted long there, Dan, as DemQ finds two frags back with the MAC-10. A short-lived opening Whoa. pick is there. Ah, no, Nickelback, that was very awkward. If only the Deagle had its body damage that it used to. Okay, all of a sudden, Forrest is now opening the round back up to a potential winnable situation. Jackie's only on 53 HP, so the Deagle here, operated by Lackey, could be extremely potent. He's just got to wait for his teammate to make the play. They can't possibly anticipate this position right away. Forrester is going to have to fall foul to it in order to reveal the location for Jeki. Up on top, Lackey gets it with the recovered AK-47. Full defuse will be stuck, but goes a little bit too aggressive in towards the doors and faces the wrath of DemQ before Forrester is able to find a trade with his own aggression in towards lobby. Unfortunately for the CT side, they are yet to really compute the aggression that's coming in towards the B site now. Lackey is going to be the first port of call, and he has done so very well with those two opening frags. A second or a third even available to his left in just a moment, which he'll now soon realize goes for it. Lackey has just wrecked this round, completely torn it limb from limb. Akuma left wondering what happened. They thought they'd got the drop on Entropic, but they could not catch Lackey sleeping. It's all up to Sergis, one versus four. He doesn't have the bomb. He doesn't really have many opportunities inside this round. I don't really feel like it's going to happen for him. Is able to get the frag. Elian missing an uncharacteristic miss. Now has to find some shots, but they're just not going to give them to him. Crad with it all to do, doing his best lackey impression from the previous round, and it's going one better. Finds himself a 3k from the entry point. Sensei is the last player remaining. It has been somewhat costly for Entropic, but it's still a round win. Ultimately, Akuma didn't really bring much into it, though, so I suppose they can be happy with what they've got so far, and it still might yet not be over. The Sensei is considering a rotation towards the A site. I think Elian's up there though, so I think he should have this kill. He's over towards me, there you go. That came back to bite them in the pistol. Going to boost over the top of this smoke. Ooh, nearly find an opening, but it's actually going to be Nickelback on the crossfire that's going to try and get this one sorted out. HE grenade pulled out, but he realizes that he needs the assistance of his teammate in time, and now it gets taken down. Two on three. The HE grenade does tickle away at Sergis a fair amount, but not enough to finish him off at all. Now, Elian is once again standing guard over towards this B site. He's surely going to find a shot here sooner rather than later. If not, then Forrester might just do as he swings into the site. Bold and brash finding the frag. Now just got to figure out where Jackie is, but Elian will do that for him. He does have a little bit of a gap in that Elian can play on. It's Crab who's going to be taking most of the contact. Now as Elian swings up to assist, missing the first shot. Uncharacteristic, but it's Crad who will find success. Two quick kills, looking for more. Can't do it. Eventually he'll get taken down. Needs his teammates to now finish the job. And it's DemQ against two. No, oh, Elian's up towards the heaven position, but where is Nickelback? Don't even get to find out. Elian finishes him off. Time H, she grenade returns far, and he's able to quickly wrap around. Will this be anticipated here by Sergis? It seems not, as the first frag is garnered. Now Nickelback just able to swing back into the site, give himself some coverage, but he knows that there's going to be more pressure coming. And speaking of pressure, Sensei knows it too. DemQ comes in for another trade frag. They see one or two players down on the B site. They assume that's the whole hit, and then get a little bit too curious for their own good. Up in Rafters now, Forrester has a lot on his plate, but he he is a very hungry boy. He finds two frags, about to try and make it a third onto Sensei. Does so successfully. Lackey clean Psycho. It's 14 for Entropic. Fortunately, I don't think he's going to be bestowed with a frag just yet. That honor might go to Lackey, who's going to go in right quick, right aggressive. It's a very, very explosive mid-round already inside of the lobby, but it has only gone one team's way, and that's the team in green. That's the team of Entropic. Sensei, DemQ, Sergis now need to try and recover this one for Akuma. They need to try and find some sort of opening frag. Lackey could be on the table for them if they try and execute in towards his position because he is a little bit isolated away from his teammates. Aggressive in towards this squeaky door room. He spots the feet of Sensei, really wants to get this frag. He knows he's being baited. He knows that Sensei isn't able to see him. And he knows that if Sensei has a shot come his way, he will not, he's not going to peep that. So he eventually just waits and it's a quick cleanup for the Entropic side waiting for players inside of lobby, but they're actually going to be coming from 
main entrance. Surely, with the way this game has panned out so far, you've got to be anticipating something like this. Swag7 finds the first frag. There it is. Crab can now upgrade if he so pleases, but Nickelback with a lot oh. on his plate has managed to. Now, Elian surely has the chance with the AWP to finish the game right here, right now. It's Sensei, no. the last player standing. He'll get to, but Lackey does the job. And Tropic make it through, Dan, 16 to 13. It was a tough old game for them, though.